Hi, today we're going to be talking about the Spider 4 Pro from Data Color. The Spider system is a monitor color calibration system. And what we're going to be going through today is unboxing the 4 Pro and then going through the initial setup and calibration process. This is the Spider 4 Pro monitor color calibration system. The Spider 4 Pro So, it comes in sleeve, and it says right here, you can download the software at the App Store. I don't use an Apple, so that it's kind of silly, but it will work on, like I said earlier, things like your iPod, your iPhone, your iPad. It works on those. You just have to have it hooked up to the computer. It's really complicated, but it does work. So, continuing in the box, if I can get this open. comes in this protective plastic case. We have the desktop holder for it. Also can be used on a tripod. Uh, the sensor itself has an ambient light sensor, so if it's plugged into your computer and you're running the software in the background, it will actually adjust your color profiles to the ambient light in the room. I'm going to put this on my desk here for a moment. This is the Spider 4 itself. We're going to put this to the side for the moment. It comes with a crazy thank you card. They're very thankful. On the back of the thank you card also includes the description between the Elite, the Pro, the Express, and the HDTV version. Follow that with the Spider 4 Pro software on a CD. Yes, it's still on a CD. This is important. Not that it's on a CD, because you can go download it from the site, but because the back of the CD has the hardware serial number. Not your license code, but your hardware serial number. And we'll follow that with the last piece in the box, which is the Quick Start Guide. Now, the Quick Start Guide is very nice. And if you open it up and look at the inside of it, it doesn't make any sense, because it's in... Russian and Japanese and Korean and Chinese. Oh, but if I go back to the outside of it, it's actually very straightforward. It has four pages of useful information. Before you begin. Before you begin, your monitor should be turned on for at least 30 minutes. I've been in the studio all day. My monitor's been on for at least 30 minutes. And then the three very, very complicated steps that it takes to get this installed. Step one, install. Step two, plug in. Step three, calibrate. Yeah, really hard. So we're going to put that down there. Now, one of the things I was concerned about when I first looked at the, the box was, how's it going to stay on my monitor? So, you can see it's tethered. I'll flip it over to the other side. There's this big, obnoxious, heavy thing. It's all got to be fed back through. And there's a standard USB plug. So this isn't some crazy piece of software. You don't need to do anything insane to use it. Pull this one here. Might have to edit out that way. All right. So this is the spider. And this is little more than a counterweight. It actually slides right along the USB cable, up and down. This way you can get this centered. The, the software will actually tell you where on the screen to put the sensor and in order to get it where you want it, no matter, and, and this works no matter how wide or tall or thick or heavy your monitor is, you can slide the counterweight to the right spot to hold it in place and it hangs over the back of the monitor. Now, on the back of the spider sensor, this is where all the sensors are hidden in here and this will rest nicely against the screen. There are seven color sensors. We know of red, green, and blue. That's the standard monitor colors. And four proprietary sensors used in the Pro and the Elite that get really, really dialed in. Now, for the sake of time, I've gone ahead and installed the software ahead of time. 
and we'll go through the time lapse of actually calibrating the monitor, which takes quite a bit of time. That was the unboxing setup and first run of the calibration for the Spider 4 Pro. Now, the reason why you might want to get one of these for yourself is if you are sending any pictures out to print and you're not doing them in house, you want to have a color calibrated monitor so you know that what you're sending out matches what you're going to get back. You don't want to have to get your pictures back and go, oh, my colors are off and go back and forth with the printer you know, trying to get everything lined up. Uh, do I recommend getting one? If you are sending anything out of house, absolutely you know absolutely necessary to have a color calibrated monitor uh, if you're only running one monitor you can run the spider 4 express you know it's the it's designed specifically to run one monitor if you're running multiple monitors like i have here in the studio or if you want to calibrate things like your ipad your ipod you know any sort of tablet device that you're also using you're going to need to have the pro it's the only one that can do that so go out Get yourself a monitor calibrator and keep shooting. Remember, always ask yourself, where does your frame stop?